Welcome to the players meeting for the 2021 South Carolina Doubles Disc Golf Championships to be held March 13th and 14th at Grand Central Station in Central and Golden Grove Farm and Brew in Piedmont. In this meeting, we will cover the tournament procedures for the weekend and the course rules. All the information will also be available at www.upstatedgc.com slash 2021 doubles. If you don't know me, this is me. This is me with a mask on. Reach out to me anytime with questions by email or text message or at the course. COVID-19 is getting better, but it's still kicking around. I encourage digital scorekeeping on the course, and all players should wear a mask when grouped together, specifically around Tournament Central during check-in and awards. On Saturday morning, please swing by Tournament Central at some point between 8.30 and 9.30 to check in and grab your player's pack. All players, including pros, get a player's pack. There will be no players meeting before the tournament begins. Your starting hole will be posted on the PDJ results page on Friday night. If you need to withdraw from the tournament for any reason, please let me know as soon as possible so I can make the groupings for the next round. Amateur payouts will be handled by Ish Ulmer and Down South Discs. Bring cash for the ace pool if you want to join. Hole 1 on Saturday will serve as the CTP to win the ace pool if no aces are hit during the weekend. If an ace is hit, the CTP on hole 1 will be disregarded. The PDGA results page will list the course layout, starting hole, and starting time for each team for each round. We will use PDGA Digital Scorecard as the official scorekeeping method. I'll give each person a paper scorecard during check-in for use during the weekend. Each group is required to keep two separate scorecards during the round. At the end of each round, you should compare the digital scorecard to the paper scorecard hole by hole for each player before submitting the final score digitally. Saturday's rounds will be held at Grand Central Station on the freight layout. Drive slow on the entrance road to the park. It's a residential neighborhood. The freight line is shown on the T signs as the black and yellow layout. Hole 4 plays to the upper basket. Hole 5 tees from the upper T. Hole 6 plays from the long T to the short basket with no mandos. Hole 7 plays from the long T. Hole 8 plays from the long T and hole 15 plays from the long tee. On hole 6, throw from the new concrete tee that was installed recently. Do not throw from the asphalt roadway. The basket is in the original position under the second tower, and there are no mandos in play. Sunday's rounds will be held at Golden Grove Farm and Brew. It's been three and a half years since we started building this course, and were able to play it this week due to the efforts this winter from Aaron Cunningham and Matthew Gillum. Thanks to Andrew Brown and the Golden Grove family and all the volunteers that have helped over the last three years. On Sunday morning for round three, the MPO and MA1 divisions will play the blue tees. The MA2 and MA3 divisions will play the white tees. On Sunday afternoon for round four, all divisions will play the white tees. The blue tees have blue signs, the white tees have white signs, and holes that have only one tee pad have a half blue, half white sign. The OB line for the pond on hole 2 is marked with white flags. The OB line for the pond on hole 3 is also marked with white flags, and the OB line for the creek behind the basket is marked with white stakes. The OB line for the pond on hole 4 is marked with white flags, and the OB line for the creek on the left side of the fairway is marked with white stakes. The flags around the shed in the fairway mark a relief area, which is played like OB without the penalty. I know it's a brewery, and feel free to have a beer over lunch, but once I blow the two-minute warning, there will be no alcohol during the rounds. At Grand Central Station, you'll be playing the best throw and best score formats. At Golden Grove, you'll be playing the best throw and alternate throw formats. Complete rules for these formats can be found in the PDJ rulebook in Appendix B. Rounds 1 and 3 are best throw, or the standard captain's choice style of doubles. 
both players tee off, and they decide which lie to use for their next throw, continuing until one player finishes the hole. Round 2 is the best score format. In this format, each player plays each hole as an individual. The team score for that hole is recorded as the lower score of the two individuals. Round 4 is alternate throw with fixed tees. At the beginning of the round, you need to pick which player will tee off on the even holes and which player will tee off on the odd holes. On a hole where player A throws the tee shot, player B will proceed to throw the second shot from that lie, and then player A will throw the third from that lie, and so on until the hole is complete. Remember to follow your pattern of fixed tees, evens versus odds, no matter who completed the putt on the previous hole. Note that, according to PDGA rules, if it is impossible for you to improve your team's score on a hole, then you are not allowed to throw. Those will be considered practice throws. And yes, that means that if the first player on the tee throws a hole in one, then the second player on the tee is not allowed to throw. Thanks for watching this players' meeting. Let's have a good tournament this weekend.